Good afternoon, everyone. Eric again. Northwest Bus Sales. Thank you for your time checking us out. Look at this beautiful day we have here in the Pacific Northwest. We got a little bit of cloud cover off and on, man. I love this kind of weather. To be honest, I'll, I'll, I, you know what? I just wish it was raining. I can't get enough of the rain. I love it. My wife thinks I'm nuts, but whatever. I love the rain. I wish it's, it's actually kind of bright out here right now. But you know what? It does reflect off of these real nice uh, row of motor coaches I got going here. Look at these babies. Oh, I'll tell you what, I get fired up when I get to talk about buses. So anyhow, here we go. Let's see. Uh, <clears throat> uh, 2002 Thomas HDX. Look at this baby. It's a Thomas Safety Liner HDX. It's got the dog-eared mirrors up front. Always gives us a nice modern sleek look. My kids call them the, the bug antenna mirrors. But anyhow, I'm already getting sidetracked. So, oh yeah, look, I even got the luggage bay doors open for you down low there. It's got, that's right, under four storage right there. A lot of these commercial style buses do not have that. It is always a nice feature. So, anyways, check out the uh, entry well as we come in. Also, did I mention it's black? I'm sure you already noticed it, but man, black is beautiful. If you can keep it clean, right? <laughs> So, anyways, dual entry grab bars as you come in. Step roll tread showing some use right here. Look at that. I don't think it's too bad though. Looking pretty good. Let's check out the driver's area right here. Ooh, we got another good cut on the radio. What's it? Listen. What do we got? I think that's Aerosmith. And I think Janie's got a gun too. <laughs> so, anyways, driver's seat upholstery is in pretty good shape right here. I better turn that down. Sakes alive. There we go. Sorry about that, Steven. Okay, so uh, air ride, driver's seat, look at that. Armrest as well, we got a little bit of a uh, ripping and a tearing going on right here. So, uh, some high, showing some use up front here. High traffic area, needless to say, look at that right there as well. Tilt and telescoping wheel, automatic Allison transmission. Mm, I'll tell you what, let's see, I think that's the, the MD3060, it says it right. Look at that, yep. Tranny MD3060, it's five speed automatic Allison uh, high idle control right here. See that? Look at that. I had the high idle on. Can you hear that kick up? Yes. All right. Control switches over here, courtesy lighting and what have you going down the middle here. Courtesy lights for the passengers there. Driver and passenger heat and AC switch controls over here. Power and heated mirrors. Wait a minute. They're heated. Where's the power? Maybe they're not power. I don't see the power switch for the mirrors, but I do see heated mirror switch over here. Anyhow, air horn. Yes! I can dig it. All right, uh, you can see, you know, all the all the bells and whistles right here. AM, FM, CD player. Uh, also over here, uh, check out the mileage, 106,000. That's right, 106,000. That's on a Caterpillar engine. We'll check that baby out here shortly. These red switches over here, those are for the on-spot chains. That's right, on-spot chains. I'll give you a demo of those here shortly when we walk around outside. Speakers going all the way, both sides down the roof there. Front and rear emergency roof hatches. It's got your typical school bus style windows, but they are tinted. You can always like that. All right, check out the passenger seating. Not your typical school bus seats. It's probably what you were thinking, but high back buckets with armrests and footrests. I, well, shoot. I guess you could call that wheel well there a footrest if you want. Yeah, look at that. There we go. Footrest down there. See those heater down there as well? There's a footrest. High back passenger seats with armrest. Polstery's not in too bad a condition. You are going to see some, uh, you know, some little bit of rips and tears right here in the high traffic areas. Also, things like this throughout the bus. I don't think it's excessive. I think it's typical. So, the floor seems to be in really good shape through this baby. I'm not seeing any tears or cracks or anything in the floor. It seems to be holding up nicely. You can see another heating unit down there. I think it's got three of them throughout this thing. So, 49 passengers. Row of five in the rear. You can see the red light indicates where the emergency exits are. You could even designate this as a little storage back here. Check it. Little first aid kit. Mm-hmm. Their emergency exit right there. And there and there and there's a few more up front there also so emergency roof hatch i think i already mentioned that yeah there's two heaters wait a minute no one i know there's three of them in here maybe there's only two shoot there's two 
And is there another one underneath here? Where the heck to go? There it is. There's the third one right there. So, uh, I think that'll do it for inside here. Driver and passenger heat and AC. Did I mention that already? Ducted AC going down. You can see the AC vents going all the way down both sides of the bus. Okay. I think that'll do it for inside. Let's walk around her out there a little bit. Okay. Here we go. I love the black paint. Check out the tire tread right here. Woo! Good tread. Body and paint seems to be in really good shape. Uh, it is does have your normal dings and scratches and what have you. You know, black has a tendency to show a lot of a lot of shortcomings. But anyhow, look at that. You can see a little bit of the undercarriage right here inside the fender well. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this bus came from Alaska. So, oh look, spare tire, brand new spare tire. I believe it came from Alaska. So it's a cold weather bus uh, fuel tank right here. Doggone it, I wish they'd put the, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but Bluebird always puts their uh, fuel capacity sticker right there. Maybe one of these days Thomas will figure it out, or I should just read the owner's manual, huh? So I got the doors already opened up for you, and look at that, body and paint. Just pretty straight all the way around. Nice, uh, decent fair amount of room right there of storage. And the black with the blacked out windows. Ooh la la. Tire tread right there also. You can see I got the drop chains deployed. Look at that, see it? Check it. Oh yeah. On spot drop chains, look at that. You can see them over there on the other side. What those things do is they're, they're pneumatic. They run off of a, they get, you know, once you activate the air, it kicks that little arm down with that wheel. And that wheel, that rubber wheel rides along the inside of the tire, which in turn turns the chains underneath the tire. So it makes it real slick. So you're not pulling over, you're lying around in the snow, putting on chains. I'm sure we've all done that a time or two. That is a real blessing when you gotta do that. Dang. All right, fender well right under here. Awesome set of mud and snows on her too. All right, here we go. Air cleaner right there. You can see a little bit of the engine back in there. Caterpillar 3126. That is the pre-C7. You know what? I better make sure of that. See it? You can see it back out. Yeah, Cat 3126. I think it was in 03 or 04 they started calling it the C7. Nonetheless, it's still a 7.2 liter inline six-cylinder turbo diesel. LED clearance lights up top. See some tow hooks down yonder there. Yes. All right. Look at that. Oh, gum! I got the hazards on, but one of them's not working here on the driver's set. All right, don't fret. We'll get that dialed in. We'll take care of it. Got to have those working. I'm surprised we haven't got that dialed in yet. Maybe this is another one of the buses that has not been through the shop yet, and we just got it cleaned up because I know you guys are probably getting tired of me saying it, but, man, we are backed up with buses right now. We're trying to get sold buses completed out the door and everything, and it's just we're a little short on manpower right now. There we go. Uh, battery box right there, three batteries inside there on a slide out tray. And let's look at the tire tread here. Yeah. She, she's knee deep in tread. Look at this. Lavasto, preheater. Mm hmm. I know it. Those of you that don't know what preheater is, Lavasto, I'll tell you what, those things will get the bus warmed up a heck of a lot faster. And a single storage area right here on the driver's side. Two on the passenger and a single over here on the passenger or driver's side. Uh, also, let's see, front tire tread, look at that. Pile of tread there, shoot. Okay, J-Box, let's get a look in here. Wiring, schematic, and doggone fuse panels and what have you, look at that fuse box. All right, all right. I think that will do it for the 2002 Thomas Safety Liner HDX. I love these HDXs, one of my favorite commercial buses. Really got a good look. Nice. So uh, please check us out online, nwbus.com. Look at that. Mm-hmm, Northwest Bus Sales. That's our, ooh, look at those two 09 Collinses right there. Man, those things got super, super low miles. I think the one on the left's only got 21,000. The one on the right's got like 14,000. Can you imagine that? Anyhow, six liter gas engine Chevrolet chassis. 
on a Collins MFSA B school bus body. And I'm totally getting derailed here again. Let's get back to the black bus. Uh, did I mention the windshield looks pretty good? No chips or cracks that I noticed. So uh, check us out online, nwbus.com. Please call any questions. 800-231-7099. Thanks.